the latest on a death investigation in Lexington that shut down part of New Circle Road for hours. A Knox County School Board Chairman resigns amid a GED scandal. We'll have the latest from Knox County. Ma'am, I have oh, I, I, I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. 48 Hours investigates a young Northern Kentucky lawyer shot to death by his Lexington girlfriend. A preview ahead. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon on this Friday. Sam Dick and Amber Philpot reporting. Police now say a man found dead along New Circle Road overnight was the victim of a hit and run. Someone passing by spotted the body around 4.30 this morning near Industry Road. Police now hope surveillance video will lead them to the driver. Our Garrett Weimer is live at the scene. It's our top story at 4.30. 12 hours later and police are still searching for whoever hit Roger Morrison and left him lying here to die. They say they're looking for a dark four door car that hit him. It was 430 this morning when police say a man driving on New Circle near Industry Road here saw a body lying in the road. Investigators shut down the outer loop for more than two hours to search for evidence of how the man, 52 year old Roger Morrison, died. They say surveillance video from a nearby business shows he was hit by a car, but the video was from far away and at first they couldn't tell what type of car hit him. The driver then took off and police have been searching ever since. Folks who work nearby say it's a scary spot because people are constantly crossing four lanes of traffic. All the times, all the times in the night, uh, very dangerous because it's such a busy intersection. And um, I just see people walking all times of the night and running, people on bikes, and most of the time it's people walking. Police say when that car hit Morrison and threw his body forward several feet, they say surveillance video shows a light colored passenger car behind it that actually had to swerve to avoid hitting his body. Police say that dark colored car likely has damage to the front passenger side and windshield, so keep an eye out for that. Live in Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Garrett, thank you. Now, police say when that driver is found, they could face charges. He may be out of office, but officials say this ordeal is far from over. This afternoon, Knox County School Board Chairman Dexter Smith resigned his position. This resignation comes after Kentucky State Police say that Smith had someone else take the GED for him. As Haley Minogue reports, this afternoon's events are something you have to see to believe. Earlier this afternoon, I watched from this building right across the street as Dexter Smith and an official from the Kentucky Department of Education exchanged words right in this parking lot. Smith was scheduled to meet with the official at 10 a.m. I watched as he arrived, spoke to lawyers, but stayed in the parking lot. The investigator seems to get tired of waiting and asked him one final time to go inside. When he shakes his head no, we went to question him ourselves. In an effort to get away, he almost hits this pickup truck, which belongs to the fire department. Just over an hour later, the Kentucky Department of Education confirms that Commissioner Pruitt received and accepted a resignation letter from Board Chairman Dexter Smith on Friday morning. While the resignation ends Smith's time on the school board, several agencies say their investigations are still ongoing. We have received information that uh, Mr. Smith did resign today as a Knox County School Board member. However, the Kentucky State Police does have an open investigation on Mr. Smith, and we will continue that investigation. And we're just waiting at this time for the Commonwealth Attorney to allow us to present this case to a Knox King grand jury. Now the process of replacing Smith begins. So you might be wondering how voting is going to go now with the school board since they're down a member. If it happens to be 2-2, there's no swing vote. It just stays as a tie. Reporting in Knox County, I'm Haley Minogue. Smith declined to comment on the issue and his attorney also left before we could request a comment. Police say a man made a somewhat clumsy getaway after robbing a Lexington gas station. Police say the man had his face covered and implied he had a weapon when he robbed the Shell station on Versailles Road at Alexandria Drive about 3.30 this morning. They say he tripped on his way out, dropping some of the cash he had just stolen. A northern Kentucky lawyer shot and his Lexington girlfriend admits to pulling the trigger, then dancing in a strange police video. So was it self-defense or love gone bad? Peter Van Zandt gives us an inside look at the police tapes and trial in a preview of back-to-back -back editions of 48 Hours that you can watch tomorrow here on WKYT.
On October 12, 2012, Shayna Huber shot her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Ryan Poston, six times. Kelly 911. Ma'am, I have a oh, I, I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. Police escorted Shayna to the station, where for almost three hours, the 21-year-old told anyone who would listen that she shot 29-year-old Ryan because she felt her life was in danger. I had my head banged and did a few different things tonight, and I just picked up the gun and shot him. But prosecutor Michelle Snodgrass doesn't buy it. Investigators were almost immediately suspicious because of Shayna's bizarre behavior that night. How do you respond to what we're looking at here is a woman in shock? Someone who is in shock does not pirouette. Within hours of putting six bullets into Ryan Poston and watching him die, she danced and sang. She was putting on a show. She was snapping her fingers and saying, I did it. I did it. Yes, I did. If you go to jail, are you allowed to keep your phone? The state believes that this was cold-blooded murder and that the motivating factor was Shana's relentless obsession with the handsome lawyer, Ryan's friend, Allie Wagner. I think she had a goal in the beginning to make him settle down with her, and when she wasn't becoming successful, that became a problem. As Shana became more possessive, Ryan's exasperation grew. In a text to his cousin, he wrote, this is getting to be restraining order level crazy. By that fall of 2012, authorities believe the situation had reached a breaking point. Ryan had a date with this woman. Ohio! And had told Shana he didn't want to see her that weekend. In her mind, this was a failure of sorts. And Shana didn't fail. He was moving when these shots were fired. But the defense argues that Ryan was the one with the violent temper. And Shana's mother, Sharon Huber, says investigators are wrong about her daughter. Shana Huber's is not a murderer. No, she is not. Hubers, who is from Lexington and went to the University of Kentucky, has asked for a new trial because her lawyers claim one of the jurors didn't disclose that he was a convicted felon. You can see 48 hours beginning at 10 Saturday night right here on WKYT. Well, some much needed showers and even some thunderstorms are rumbling across the region this afternoon. But that rain will be scooting out of town later tonight, leaving us with another winner of a weather weekend. <laughs> How about that alliteration, Chris Bailey? Oh, uh, it's all thumbs up for our Saturday and Sunday. Thumbs up today because we needed the rain. A lot of those storms that are out there now putting down some small hail that's covering the ground. Nine sky cams across the entire region, and all of those nine sky cams, at least for now, are dry. Though you see a a little rain on the uh, Jenkins Cam in the far southeastern Kentucky. What we're looking at across the Lexington region now is just a light shower or two. Thunderstorms in the southeastern Kentucky, northern parts of Laurel County, up toward Boonville, Owsley County. Small hill likely with those around the West Liberty, Sandy Hook area there in Elliott County. A little cluster of some thunderstorms gearing up from Mount Sterling to just north of downtown Richmond. I guarantee you this storm on the Mountain Parkway toward the Clark and Montgomery County line is putting that little pea sized hail. Likewise, just to the north of downtown Richmond. Folks watching us right now, four down toward Red House, Doylesville, small hill, a good possibility. Lexington Metro, hey, worst maybe uh, passing us by to our south and southeast around the spiraling band of, or the spiraling area of low pressure with those bands of showers and some thunderstorms. So the storms are moving out. Great looking weekend replacing that. Eventually, pattern continues to turn back toward the stormy side as we go into next week's seven-day forecast with a breakdown in a few minutes. Thank you, Chris. President Obama and the First Lady are in the British capital for a three-day visit, and they brought birthday wishes for 90-year-old Queen Elizabeth II. Villa Marks reports now from London. The President's helicopter touched down outside Windsor Castle just in time for lunch with the Queen. The Obamas were a day late for Elizabeth II's 90th birthday. President Obama almost took the Queen's spot in her Range Rover before realizing his mistake and climbing in front. Inside the thousand-year-old castle, 
So where would you prefer? The two heads of state and their spouses posed for photos before sitting down for lunch. Very nice to see you again. In her 64 years on the throne, the Queen has met 11 of the last 12 U.S. presidents. Uh, she's a, an astonishing person uh, and uh, a real uh, jewel to the world and not just to the United Kingdom. President Obama isn't leaving town without taking care of some business. This afternoon, he's been meeting with British Prime Minister David Cameron here in Westminster. Recent polls show the president is more popular in Britain than he is back home. I think the general opinion of him is quite good here. Um, so this is quite an important visit for him, I guess, as president, his last visit here. The president and first lady started the day at a castle with a queen and a duke. But they'll end it at a palace with two princes and a duchess. Villa Mark, CBS News, London. Well, this is expected to be President Obama's last trip to Britain while in office. It's a picture you have to see a fight between a wild cat and a snake. Details coming up on WKYT News at 4.30. Join Rob Romley and WKYT TV viewers on a cruise and land tour of Alaska, August 5th to the 18th. To learn more about this wonderful vacation, our free travel shows will meet Tuesday, April 26th at the Lexington Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m. We'll also meet Wednesday, April 27th at the Frankfurt Best Western Parkside Inn at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m. For more information, call Holiday Vacations at 1-800-826-2266. Join me, Denny Crum, and me, Joe B. Hall, for the biggest hearing event of the year. Do you hear but don't understand? Do you struggle to hear in noise? We want 300 people to take the 10-day challenge. Call the number below to evaluate the latest invisible hearing technology. One week only at all of our convenient locations. Hearing Solutions, helping you listen to what you're missing. Can you help me figure out what to plant in my front yard to help our curb appeal? Sorry, I just started working here last week, so I'm not sure. Hey, can you help her find some plants? Sorry, kid. I work in the plumbing department. Can you help me figure out what to plant to help our curb appeal? Piece of cake. First, you need a few dwarf boxwoods over there. Supplement those with a crate. Take your curb appeal to the next level. At King's Gardens, we share your passion for plants. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. But it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million, and you can help decide where that money goes. Sign up at Kroger.com slash community rewards and link your plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. When Dad died, Jim came home from college to help save the family business. Jim made a real difference. We grew Gray Construction from a million dollar business to over a billion dollars in sales a year. We built over 900 projects and helped create over 20,000 jobs in Kentucky. I'm Jim Gray and I sponsored this ad because Washington could use Jim's business sense and some good Kentucky common sense to get things done. Jim Gray, Kentucky first. We are tracking a breaking news alert here in Lexington. A train has collided with a car. It happened about 30 minutes ago on Waveland Museum Lane. That's off of Nicholasville Road, just south of Man of War. The fire department says at least one person has been injured. We don't know how bad. We do have a crew on the way, and we'll have more on WKYT News at 5. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. As expected, some busy uh, times out there this afternoon. Showers, thunderstorms, some of those storms putting down some small hill across central and eastern Kentucky. In some cases, it's been covering the ground out there. Nothing truly severe, but some pea sized hill has been adding up. Thunderstorms are beginning to weaken for the most part. I've got one little thunderstorm complex between Mount Sterling and Richmond that's flaring up a little bit. Scattered stuff southeastern Kentucky that continues to work its way down the Mountain Parkway corridor. Here are the storms that we're keeping a very close eye on north of Richmond into parts of Clark County across the Mountain Parkway uh, just to the south of the Mount Sterling area getting in on some showers and storms. We're looking at that same little complex of storms here on our live sky cam from Winchester Road, very top of that thunderstorm. Showing up uh, 
quite nicely here on this live sky cam. Let's get you in and show you exactly where the strongest part of that storm is. It is right on the Clark. Montgomery County line. So just to the west of uh, Highway 11 there over toward Kidville, Mountain Parkway, southeast of where the parkway hits Interstate 64, southern parts of Clark County. We drop it into northern sections of Richmond. Richmond, you can smell the rain. Look to your north right now. You'll see a little flash or two of some lightning. Folks around the Red House area hearing the thunder and getting in on some heavy rain. Area of low pressure upstairs spinning across the Ohio Valley. That's a big pocket of cold air. Now for the day tomorrow, 40s in the morning, still some clouds in the eastern Kentucky. We'll hit the low 60s noontime. Being optimistic with 70, many of us may come in upper 60s, but it's a Saturday. I'm feeling good. We'll go with the 70 for that afternoon high. Hour by hour forecast. Out and about this evening, still the threat for a scattered shower or a thunderstorm. Here's the Lexington forecast through 11 o'clock this evening. Temperatures dropping into the low 50s, so as the skies begin to clean up a little bit, we'll chill it down into the 40s to begin the day tomorrow. Afternoon temperatures, though, 65 to 70 degrees. Spectacular weekend taking shape again. That's two in a row for us. 11 o'clock tomorrow night, 49 degrees. Look at that low on Sunday, 41 when you wake up. I could see a few upper 30s in some of those coldest valleys. How about the afternoon on your Sunday? 75 to 80 degrees, beautiful skies that will be noted across the entire area. Three day threat track. This is what we like to see green, green, green into Monday. We're going to keep a sunny sky going once we get it tomorrow, right on into Monday as temperatures hit 80, maybe a low 80 here or there. Extended forecast into next week, upper 70s to maybe a low 80. Daily threat for a shower or a thunderstorm. Can't pinpoint any one day as a washout. But it is good to get the best of both worlds. A good looking weekend, warm temperatures, and a threat for a shower storm next week. We've had a run of rain later in the week, like on a Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. but then a really nice weekend. Yeah, we tend, funny how it tends to work out that <laughs> way, huh? It's good for my approval rating, so I like when we get it in and out of town before the weekend. All right. Thanks, Chris. All right. We're cooking up some healthy options today, just in time for spring and summer. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about at Bluegrass Catering. Will the Amazing Race teams complete the scariest task ever? I'm freaking out. Abby's coming after me. Or chicken out. <laughs> New Amazing Race, CBS Tonight. Tonight. Six inmates unaccounted for. Criminals on the run. One of the fugitives is your husband. And desperate crimes. He's not going to stop until he kills every one of them. Call for deadly measures. Don't lie to me. Whatever happened, just tell me. New Hawaii 5 CBS Tonight. Or stream it live or on demand. When selecting trees and shrubs for your garden, consider how much space you have, how much sun the area receives, and whether or not your soil is wet or dry. And then come see us at Springhouse Gardens. We make buying plants a walk in the park. Nothing brings a family together like fun around the backyard pool. Here is your last chance to make that happen, and the price has never been better. For a limited time, Blue World Pools has the big 15 by 24 Econoline pool for not $3.99, not even $3.49. If you call now, that pool can be yours for only $2.99. That price still includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool cleaner. All that including free installation on your ready site for just $2.99. That's a $1,995 value for only $2.99. That's awesome. Call Blue World Pools now and take advantage of this incredible offer. Want more pizzazz? Of course you do. So jump up to our midline pool or grab for it all with Blue World Pools top of the line classic pool. The ultimate in high style living. The choice is yours. But remember, this is your last chance to take advantage of our limited time offer. The price will never get any better than this. How could it? Call Blue World Pools right now and beat that heat. Get ready for Kroger's Kentucky Derby Festival, April 28th through Derby Eve, and be a part of America's greatest community festival with nine full days of local and national act concerts, the infamous Chow Wagon, various festival events, and more. Admission is free with a 2016 Pegasus pen, $5 at your neighborhood Kroger, and $7 at events. Hurry into Kroger and save on pork. Get boneless chops, back ribs, or tenderloin for $2.99 a pound. And Kroger cheese is just $1.88 at Kroger. This is what precision looks like, helping you see what's hard to see, thanks to Terrain Denali's Side Blind Zone Alert that uses radar to watch your blind spots. So it's true. 
mom does have eyes in the back of her head. The new, meticulously crafted 2016 Terrain Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Or current lessees switch to GMC and get this low mileage lease on this Terrain SLE1 for around $199 per month. Visit your Bluegrass GMC dealer today. Hi, I'm Richard Weber from Springhouse Gardens. Did you know that April is one of the best times of the entire year to plant trees and shrubs? The selection is great and the plants have plenty of time to get established before the heat of summer. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Just because you may be trying to eat healthy does not mean you can't still eat delicious food. Our Deanne Stevens is out and about at Bluegrass Catering with the details on a tasty salmon recipe. Hi, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at Bluegrass Catering getting some tips on eating right for spring and summer. It is so hard to do, but when you got folks like Anna, the executive chef here, putting it together for you, it makes life easy. Tell me what you're doing right here. Well, I'm doing a grilled salmon with a saffron sauce and a wine rice. And this is such a healthy option for folks. It's not too hard, but there is a secret to cooking salmon on the grill, isn't it? It is. You have to have your grill really up high, high temperature, and salmon, it's, this salmon um, is marinated in an orange and lemon juice. And it looks amazing. We're going to... Two minutes on each side. Two minutes on each side, so it should be that simple. Shannon is with us as well from Bluegrass Catering. What is it about salmon and a special sauce? It's just great for spring and summer, isn't and it? And it's healthy, full of omega-3, so... Mm. But everybody thinks sauces are hard to make. They're not. They're not? All right, we're going to throw one together. So we're going to make a saffron sauce. Okay. Now, if you're at home, you can make it sound like it's saffron. <laughs> A saffron sauce yeah. with a sous chef today yeah. <laughs> at Bluegrass Catering. Exactly. So what okay. we're going to do, we're going to throw in a little bit of cumin. Okay. What's this? A little bit of saffron. Got it. A little bit of cayenne. Now this, you want to be careful with oh. because it is spicy. But okay. you put in as much as you want. All right. A little bit of salt. Okay. We're going to put in some whipped cream. Yum. You can use whipped cream, sour cream, any kind of cream. Is that on the diet? It works, you know. <laughs> you got to have a healthy, little. The right. salmon's healthy, so we can have a little bit. Got a you. little. Okay, bit. I'm not arguing with you. Yeah. I'm just asking. And again, this can be any kind of herb. So like we're putting in cilantro. Okay. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna stir this up, and we're yeah. gonna put it on the stove. Man. Okay. That and easy. you serve it up with a little bit of rice. Look. And she said she yeah. was. She's marinated this in a lemon. Juice? It's in a lemon juice and an orange juice. Okay, finished product is right here, and you guys have some of these spring and summer. It's hard to start. I mean, you got to be uncomfortable, I guess, to get comfortable in a bikini, right? Yes. It's yes. hard to start eating right and cooking right, but you guys make it simple. You post things on your Facebook page? Yes. On our Facebook page, we have all kinds of recipes. We show you pictures, and if you don't know how to do it, we can do it for you. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> we okay, can do finished product it. is right here along with our paleo protein salad. Now look how beautiful that is. And then what is this to finish it off? This is a mint drink. It's refreshing. So it's just a little bit of 7-Up, lemon juice, and mint. And it's good for you, right? Cheers to healthy eating, healthy Cheers. options. Check out the recipes on their Facebook page, Bluegrass Catering. And I need a fork. They went and got forks since last time to check this out. This salad is magnificent. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about with dinner cooked for me tonight, and it's healthy. Back to you guys. Enjoy. A soon to be baby boy's ultrasound picture is creating quite a storm across social media. Find out why coming up on WKYT. P Ranch Great Five Day Sale ends Tuesday. A Mana Top Load Washer, $2.99 Super Saver. A Mana 25 Cubic Foot Stainless Side by Side with Ice and Water Dispenser, only $8.99. 18 months, zero interest on TVs and appliances. Nobody beats P Ranch. Used cars are in short supply, so I need your trade. Right now, at the all new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. During the spring clearance event, New 2015 Jeep Renegade Sports are just $189 a month. New 2016 Ram Bighorn Crew Cab Four-Wheel Drives are only $199 a month. And if you have a job and a valid driver's license, we want to approve you. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. 
Enjoy 0% financing for five years and free TVs with your qualifying purchase at Sleep Outfitters. Get this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam on sale now for just $4.99 plus a free TV. Save hundreds on a special purchase of Tempur-Pedic adjustable bases while they last. 0% financing for five years, free TVs, store-wide savings, and save hundreds on Temper Ergo adjustable foundations. Only at Sleep Outfitters. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend for our spring cleaning warehouse sale. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Oversized sofa, three ninety seven. dollars Serta Queen Mattress and Box, two eighty eight. dollars Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach Time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach Time. See the all-new Serta Perfect Sleeper Hybrid Mattress and get the king for the price of a queen. Like this king set, just twelve ninety nine. dollars Plus get a three-day, two-night window vacation free. And up to five years, zero interest. Because nobody beats the rats. Saw a little bit of everything out there today. Some sun, then I heard it thundering wow. around, then some heavy showers. Oh. So a lot of different things going on on this Friday. Yeah, keeping our chief meteorologist over here busy. We need to keep him busy. <laughs> keep him young. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's more than uh, than I need sometimes, though. But we are dealing with some showers and some storms out there. Small hail producing thunderstorms at that. Sky cams. Jackson, look at a little thunderhead there in the distance. London kind of looks like a thunderhead in the distance there as well. We've got one on that Lexington camp, Frank. Yeah, you're kind of going against the trend there. You're just sunny right now. 63 degrees showing up at three of the locations. London at 66 is the warm spot. Defender radar network with thunderstorms in the eastern Kentucky that continue to spiral around an area of low pressure. We'll see this stuff beginning to weaken out as soon as the sun sets here over the next few hours. Let's get a check on traffic on what is likely to be a very busy afternoon. Here's Officer Don. <laughs> Boy, it is busy. We're dealing with a couple of collisions. One is at uh, Waveland Museum in Nicholasville Road. That's where a car has been struck by a train. So police have an area that's blocked right now, and it's going to affect both Nicholasville Road and, of course, Waveland Museum in that area. And then, just in time for Keeneland traffic, out there on Versailles Road at Van Meter. And last look, at four lanes blocked just before Keeneland because of a collision there. So traffic leading Lexington toward Versailles definitely going to be impacted. That will impact our drive times to both Brussels and Nicholasville, uh, to Paris right now on Paris Pike, nothing unusual, and 75 to Georgetown looks good. How about you in the studio? All right, a lot going on. Do be careful yeah. out there. A sign from above in an ultrasound and a local wildcat getting in a scuffle. It's the video that will have you talking. Take a look at this. A pregnant Indiana woman is making headlines over her baby's ultrasound picture. Take a look at this. Uh, this ultrasound photo of her soon-to-be baby boy shows what appears to be a crucifix right there in the middle. The picture has now gone viral on social media with supporters and skeptics alike sounding off. The expectant mom says that she has a kick out of all the attention that this picture is receiving. She says it must be a simple message from above. Well, apparently, wildcats are not big fans of snakes. A man and his wife tell us they were driving around the Red River Gorge Loop when they spotted this wildcat wrestling a very large snake and snapped these pictures. Well, obviously, as you see in that picture right there, the wildcat won the fight and drug his wriggling prey across the road into the forest. Magnificent creature there, and to be able to catch those or capture right. those photos, they're beautiful despite the snake part of yeah, there. Yeah, very rare. Absolutely. But the cat wins. Yeah. All right. All right, we've got a busy Friday afternoon for you. Stick with us. Here's what's coming your way now at 5 o'clock.